Today the theme is love, as you can probably tell by my red hairband. <laughs> love. Hearts. Red. All of that. Whether you are in need of more love, self-love or love externally, um, then I hope you can get some from this practice today. Or whether you are oozing with love and you just want a way of expressing it. <laughs> Let's flow. So if you have got them available, grab a block or two <laughs> and we're going to start lying down. So we're going to take ourselves out long and this is like the first bit of love we're showing ourselves, letting ourselves lie here. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath you, palms facing up and just relax yourself down, maybe lowering the gaze and taking some deep breaths. Maybe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then when you've taken three deep breaths here, can you bring your right hand over your heart and then your left hand on top of your right hand? So both hands over your heart. And just keep breathing, not quite so deep as those three first breaths. But maybe you can feel the heart pumping beneath you. Maybe you can feel the breath moving up and down through the body. Just noticing as you connect into yourself. Love starts from us, right? And what we think about ourselves. As RuPaul says, <laughs> if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? <laughs> I think that's so true. So let's start with ourselves. Take a couple more breaths here. And then gently release the hands from the heart. Send them up high above you. Or maybe you flutter open the eyelids as you take a big old stretch, arms and legs as tall as you can across your mat. And then I want you to walk your hands over to the right. Maybe your shoulders come slightly over to the right too. And then walk your feet over to the right. So keeping your back on the floor, but finding this curve like a banana, or you could say like half of a heart. <laughs> <laughs> you could say it. You could say it. You might be true. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> Breathe here, really releasing arms and legs over to the right. And then with your next breath in, walk yourself back to center and then take it over to the left. So hands first, shoulders, keeping yourself grounded there and then walking the legs over to the left, finding the other side of that heart. Beware, there's going to be lots of heart shapes that we're making today on our mat. Breathing here as you feel the stretch all down the left side of the body. And then with your next inhale, walk yourself back to center. This time bring your feet as wide as the mat, soles of the feet to the mat. Bring your hands out wide. They can either be in a T-shape or a cactus shape, whatever feels good to you. And just sway the legs right to left and left to right, swaying them across the body. We just start to open up, start to get things moving. And then the next time that your knees land on the right, just keep them there. Sink your shoulders back down to the mat. Just let yourself release. Maybe you can gaze past your left fingertips or you can just stay facing up, head facing towards the ceiling. And then with your next inhale, bring the legs up to center, take the knees over to the left. Take a couple more sways, right to left, left to right. Releasing it up, opening it up. 
and then the next time they come to the left, leaving them there. Really grounding down through your shoulders, maybe looking over the right fingertips. Finding a deep breath here, sinking the shoulders down into the mat. Just twisting yourself to open up so that we can begin our self-loving. And then gently inhale to rise the knees up. Bring the knees into the chest. Just give them a hug. Oh, there goes the, uh, the love hairband. <laughs> Got to put that back on because otherwise there's hardly any of me that's love featured. Can you see there's a bit of pink on my legs too? Yeah, theming, theming. <laughs> She's trying. And just squeeze the knees into the chest. Really squeeze yourself in. And then wrap both your hands around your right front of your uh, shin. And we're going to take the left leg out long, just hovering it above the ground. And then can you let go of this right leg? Bring left leg into the chest as you shoot that right leg out, just taking it to the other side. Let's do this a couple of times, just warming up the center, the core. Bringing each leg in. Shoulders are off the floor, but they could be down if that feels better for you. Just take one more each side. Right leg in and then left leg in. And then take the hands behind the thighs as you rock and roll. You could rock and roll a couple of times. We're headed onto all fours. So once you have taken a bit of time coming over and finding your all four position. Hands stacked under shoulders, knees under hips. And then inhale to drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Exhale, press through the hands as spine lifts up towards the ceiling. Rolling through your cat cow, moving with your inhales and exhales as we stretch out the spine, get things moving. Just a couple more times. Really long, deep breaths here as you move with the breath. And then the next time you come through a neutral space, shuffle those hands forward slightly in front of the shoulders, tuck the toes and press your hips high, downward facing dog. Pressing those heels down. Bum up to the sky as your upper body presses back towards your shins. Spread your fingers. Deep breath here, maybe with a shake of the head or a nod. And then take your feet as wide as the mat, toes slightly off the mat, heels in. Walk your hands one by one as you bend your knees. We find ourselves in a malasana, a yogic squat at the back of the mat. And if it feels okay to do so, you could sit up on a block here, slide it underneath your bum, press your elbows to the inside of your thighs, press your hands together to heart center, roll shoulders back. And stay here, deeply breathing. You could close down the eyes again. Just finding this grounding, this stability before we move through some more interesting shapes. And then plant the hands down on the mat. Inhale to reach your hips high. Snuggle your feet in, hip width apart. And either dangling here or reaching your hands back behind you, clasping the hands together as you release the shoulders, the arms over the head. Press the weight forward, hips over heels. Release tip of head towards the mat. Deep breaths. And then if those hands are clasped, release them, tuck chin into chest and roll your way up. Rolling the shoulders back. It's time for our next heart-shaped pose. <laughs> so stay facing that way at the back of your mat. I'm just gonna face this way so you can see what I'm doing. Hands overhead like a heart shape, like a little heart shape, kind of like YMCAing now. Really roll the shoulders back. Find that heart shape. 
And then release the right hand down the leg as left arm goes over. Keep your body facing forward as you find that side bend. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Inhale to rise up. Find that heart shape again. And then left hand down to the side. Right arm reaches over. Finding that side bend. Over to the left. Inhale, reach it up. One last heart shape. Fingers together, and then release the hands wide as you send the bum back, fold all the way down to your forward fold. Inch your hands out all the way into a plank. Spread those fingers, and then lower the knees. Elbows press back towards the body as you lower yourself down to the mat. Hands just in front of shoulders, spread fingers. Inhale, rise up to your cobra. Roll the shoulders back, press the hips down. Really reach that heart, that chest forward. It's really time for the heart to take the spotlight today. <laughs> All in the name of love. Exhale, release it down. All the way back down to the mat. Press up to your knees, tuck your toes, hips rise high, downward facing dog. And once more, start to walk your hands back towards your feet, this time keeping them hip width. As you dangle here at the back of your mat, tuck chin into chest and roll all the way up. Roll your shoulders up and back. And then you're standing here at the back of your mat. So we're going to step forward with our right foot, kind of halfway up the mat. Right toes facing forward. Our left toes are going to face to the top left-hand corner of the mat. And you want a little bit of space between your hips here. Bend that front knee, rise the arms. We're finding a warrior one. Roll that right hip back. Knee stacked over ankle. Reach the arms high. Now you could give a little heart shape with your fingers. <laughs> above your head, little heart shape, just a nod, a nod to that love that we're feeling today. And then release your hands, you're going to press the weight into this right foot, take the left leg out to the side, reach the arms wide. So you're balancing on your right leg, left leg is out to the side, your arms are like you're trying to give a huge big hug. Reach your arms out. And then we're going to bring this right foot next to the left as we bend the knees to find a chair pose, but wrap right arm over left, give yourself a massive hug. So you're going out for that massive hug, sending our arms wide, and then we bring the hug in. Maybe wiggle your fingertips back to your shoulders, give yourself a cheeky massage, sit a little deeper. It's harder to see <laughs> if your toes are in front of your knees now with your elbows in the way, but see if you can. Make sure that your knees, you can see your toes. <sighs> One more breath here, can you sit a little deeper? Really warm, snuggly hug. And then reach the arms wide, reach them tall, and bring them through heart centre. Lovely. Now this time we take the left foot all the way up to the front of the mat now. Right toes towards top right hand corner and find your warrior one on the other side. Send those arms high. Wrap that left hip back with you. Reach the arms high. You could find that little heart shape with your fingers as the arms reach up in front of you. Deep breath here. Hips square facing the top of the mat. And then let's start to press the weight into that left foot as the arms shoot out to the side. Right foot comes out. Really big hug. Arms as wide as possible. Hopefully you've been slightly wiser than me and don't have a wall in the way. <laughs> yes, huge hug. And then bring that right foot next to left as you bend the knees to your chair. Left arm over the top of right. Massive hug. Send the bum back. Maybe a quick look down <laughs> through your arms to see if you can see your toes beneath your knees. Snuggle those fingertips back behind you. Deep breath here. Can you sink a little lower? Yes, last hug. And then reach it up, reach the arms wide. And can you find that heart shape overhead? Bring your feet hip width. So that heart shape here, fingers together. 
and then take the right arm down the right leg, left arm curls over, find that side bend. Inhale, come back up to center, find that heart shape, fingers come together, and then left arm down the left leg. Side bend it over, bring it back up to center, final heart shape. Let the arms go wide as you fold, hinging at the hips all the way down. Inhale, lift your hands to your shins, find a lift of the chest. Exhale, release it down. And set right and left foot back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, kick your right leg up to the sky, reach it high, and then step it through between the hands. And we're gonna find that warrior one again. So turning left toes to face top, left hand corner of the mat, bend in the front leg, reach the arms high, wrap that right hip back behind you. Now we're going to release the hands behind to find a clasp, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest and then exhale to fold to the inside of this right leg. So trying not to press loads of weight onto the leg, you could separate your legs out a little, give yourself some more space and sink yourself down, still bending through the front leg, lifting the tip of the head or releasing I should say the tip of the head down towards the mat. Curl that right hip back still. There's a lot going on here. And then you can also release the arms further back behind you. We're just here for one more breath. Sorry, I know I've been talking a lot. <laughs> and then tuck chin into chest as you roll yourself all the way up. Now ground this back foot to warrior two. You might send your feet a little wider. Reach the arms out, flip the front palm and come all the way back to your reverse warrior. Keep that bend in the front leg. Find these curves, the curves of the heart shapes. And then we're gonna cartwheel your hands around this front foot. If you've got a block, it's gonna be super useful here. Something solid, you can have it on any level. It's to the outside of your right foot. Plant your right hand into it. We're gonna lift your left leg high, flexing the foot. Bring left hand to hip, roll your body open to the left hand side, and then maybe lift the arm. So another huge hug here. Really stretch space between your arms and your leg. You can look down to the floor, and then when you start to get a little more comfortable with that balance, maybe look up to the side, up towards the fingers. Taking a deep breath here. It is totally cool if you're wobbling around. You've probably seen me wobbling. <laughs> it's cool, that's how we learn to fly. We've got to wobble. And then gently bring that left hand to hip. Step your left foot to the front beside your right foot as we fold here, forward fold. Then tuck chin into chest and roll yourself all the way up, bringing the arms high, finding that heart shape, fingers together, and then reaching right arm down the right leg, left arm twists over as we find this bend. Inhaling back up to center, bringing the hands together or the fingertips together for that heart shape. And then left hand down, left leg, right arm reaches over. Inhale it back up to center, fingers meet. Spread the arms, press the bum back, fold it down. Left and right foot step back to downward facing dog. And let's do that on the other side. So lifting the left leg high, reach it up and then step it through between the hands, grounding your back foot, ready for warrior one, toes pointing to a top right hand corner, reach the arms up, hips facing forward. So wrapping that left hip back and reaching the arms behind you. Can you clasp the other way? So other thumb on top, other set of fingers on top. Roll shoulders back, lift the chest. And then fold yourself to the inside of this left leg. Remember, you can always give yourself some more space. You can separate the feet out. Really fold yourself to the inside, trying not to press too much weight on that left leg. Keep the bend in the front leg. Tip the tip of the head down towards the mat. 
One final breath here. Can you release those hands, those arms a little further back? And then slowly rise it back up. Step this right foot back to warrior two. So toes facing out to the side rather than that top corner. Reach the arms out. Flip front palm, send it back. Reverse warrior. Bending through that front knee still, stacked over heel. Opening up the chest, finding that curve. All of the curves equal all of the hearts. <laughs> Take one more breath here. And then cartwheel the hands around this front foot. That block comes to the outside of your left foot. Any level that you would like it. Start to lift your right leg back, flex the foot, right hand to hip. Peel yourself open to the right hand side. Maybe then you lift your hand too. Big hug, stretch out the space between your arms. Keep lifting that back foot. Maybe you can start to shift your gaze up towards those right fingertips. Keep breathing here. One final breath. Can you spread your arms a little wider? And then bring your right foot all the way down next to your left. Fold here. Forward folding down. Then tuck chin into chest and rise it up. Inhale the arms up. And this time as you exhale, bring them through to heart center. And can you just ground that right hand on heart, left hand on top of right hand. Close your eyes. You've got a little bend in your knees. You're standing up tall, shoulders rolling back. And just connect back in. Take one more deep breath here. And then release the hands, bat open the eyelids, reach your arms high. Exhale, take them wide as you send the bum back, fold it down. Inhale, hands to shins, find a half lift. Exhale, release it down and step left and right foot back to downward dog and then come down to your knees and cross your legs. I'm going to send the right leg out long. Left sole of the foot to the inside of the right thigh. If you've got a blanket or you could sit up on a block, but kind of ideally one that's thinner than this kind of block. It just helps to elevate your hips a little, helps the hinge of the hips. Roll the shoulders back, lift the arms, and exhale, press the bum back as you fold yourself over this leg. You could grab a hold of the foot, you could place the hands around wherever they land as you fold. Try and keep lifting the chest, pressing the chest forward, sending it as far forward as you can. Sending the bum back as you do so. Take one more breath here. And then gently walk your hands back towards you. Bring the right foot to meet the left foot. So Baddha Konasana. And kind of a little heart, <laughs> right? A little squished heart. Actually, let's make it more of a diamond pose because I feel like then it is more of a heart. So take your feet a little out away from the body. My thumbs are kind of inside of my foot, fingers on the outside. Roll the shoulders back. Find a lift here. And then exhale, send the bum back as you fold. Knees can be wherever. They might be up here, they might be down on the floor. Anything is cool. Reach that chest forward just like we were doing before. It might be really nice to sit yourself up on a blanket on a block here to find a little lift. It'll make this folding easier. And then tuck your chin into your chest and slowly lift yourself back up. Now this time take the left leg out long, right sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. Reach the arms high, find that length. And then exhale, send the bum back, extend your length forward. 
Really reach the chest forward towards the foot, towards the toes as you find a fold here, releasing that right knee out to the side. Hands land anywhere that feels good. But really think about sending that chest forward, sending that bum back, finding that long spine. And then gently walking your hands back towards you. Bring the soles of the feet to the ground. Send your arms out, palms facing up, and curl your body down. So like you're doing a cat in your cat cow, you're pressing your back back, finding that little curve as you roll yourself back down to the mat. And send your legs long. Hands coming back again on that heart. So right hand and then left hand on top. And just take some deep breaths here. And I just want you to think of one thing that you love about yourself. And it can be absolutely anything. From the speed at which you're able to brush your teeth in the morning, <laughs> to, I don't know, your eyes or the way that you look after others, or your sense of humour, your daring nature, your confidence, your ability to stay calm, absolutely anything. And then take one final inhale here. On your exhale, release the hands from the chest. Send the palms facing up. Snuggle the shoulder blades underneath you. And this is where I'm going to leave you. But feel free to stay here and bathe in this love that we've just created. Oh, <laughs> I love you.